Hello everyone and welcome back. So it's a new year, new card. Um, so we're going to be getting uh, to go on the new card here on the new review. Um, and for anyone that is unaware, this will not have any pictures from the 2023 card. However, it will be a display of the hands with the corresponding colors um, to what you would find on the card. And we'll make sure that we try and go over everything specifically um, from this card only. I'm not going to try and touch more on numbers um, and statistical you know, things because that's more of a Michelle thing to do. Um, and her videos are very good at doing that. So I'll leave that basically to her. Um, but today we're going to mainly be touching on the 2023 card, and we're going to go over uh, basically all of the basics um, corresponding to the card from just what hands are available and some basic hand switching. Most of the time I do a lot of hand switches on my live streams, and I touch on those throughout. Um, so if you want a more in-depth analysis of a more uh, competitive aspect of this card, uh, be sure to check out the live streams as I will be going more in depth. And as I learn the card more, um, there will be a lot of new things that obviously will come about from that. Alrighty. So uh, some common rules. Uh, this is basically just like for the new card. Um, there's no more, uh, uh, basically, there's no more three flowers um, anywhere on the card. Um, last year, I know we had a bunch of three flower, three flower with two like numbers or two opposite numbers in a consecutive run. Um, there's no more of that. So basically, all we have are the pairs or cons. Um, and basically, that means that flower joker bait is back uh, because there's going to be more hands on the card that have four flowers, meaning that if you have a single one, uh, you can easily snag a joker from uh, those hands. So be wary of that. Um, and as well, um, this is kind of just a basic game knowledge thing, but if you draw a tile uh, and you swap it out, uh, that basically gives you double the value, um, and then the hand will also double in value again if it is pure, basically, you know, no jokers, um, and then, of course, that excludes that singles and pairs category, um, because no jokers can be included in a pair or a single, and then, as well, uh, addition hands are back. I know a lot of people are very happy about that. However, they need to be played the same way as you see them on the card. Uh, and we'll we'll touch more on that once we get to that subsection. Okay. And then I know a lot of people get really um, confused because they see the term any on the card. Um, and I think they kind of just go uh, a little too far ahead. So basically, any does mean any. Um, however, uh, if it says any suit, any dragon, any wind, none of them have to match. So basically, um, if you have like any suit, any dragon, it could be uh, basically anything, but they don't have to match. Um, so we'll get into those hands on the card, obviously. But again, just want to point out that any means any. <laughs> A lot of people get that confused. So and uh, don't worry if you if you don't understand it, then you're totally fine. Okay. So we're going to get to the 2023 section. We can all take a breath. 2022 was a wild year because a lot of twos were involved in that year hand. And it just felt impossible to even touch up that category because getting a bunch of twos was very hard because a lot of consecutive run hands, two, four, six, eight, and the list goes on, played them. As well as having a quint with two, four, six, eight made twos desperately harder to get. Um, so, and basically they're the smaller three numbers, so of course those are going to be the starts of many hands. Um, however, this year we do have the addition of a three as opposed to another two, uh, which actually might, for some people, think it easier to build, but we'll get into how, why this three is actually going to be the most important tile of the year again. Um, and again, we'll touch more on that later. But So for our first hand, we have a just basic... 2-0, which is the dragons. Zeros are white dragons, or soaps, as people refer to them. And then we have the 2-3. And then this is going to basically be any two suits. And then a uh, quick disclaimer here, this hand can have dots, as the white dragons here are not counting as a suit. So you can have dots here or dots here. Because this is not counting against these two. If it was, it would say any three suit. 
as this hand down here says any three suits. So you can have BAMs paired with these and dots and cracks or, you know, vice versa. But again, the zero does not count as a suit. So make sure you know that you can play any 2023 suit. Um, it just, again, you just have to have that one white dragon. Um, and let's get into the third hand here. We have four flowers, three dragons, 2023 with three dragons as well. I think this hand is going to be a pretty good hand if you start out with a lot of dragons. I know last year on the news, or on the on the news, I call it the news, but the winds and dragons section, um, you had a hand with flowers and all three dragons. So they basically replaced the dragon uh, con with the 2023, um, which shouldn't be that hard to make, honestly. Um, you just need the other dragons. And we'll get into how some hands can switch with this one later on. Um, and then, yep, the 2023 suit can match a dragon pun suit as well. Make sure to, a lot of people have been getting really confused on this, but again, um, it says a pun of any dragon and then 2023 in any suit. So this can match one of these. So be wary of that. And then on the fourth hand, we have just a concealed noose hand. Um, this one is actually pretty good. Um, you can have any two suits, and then the pair of twos must be in any suit. Um, so basically, you can have um, your, uh, your three white dragons, obviously, but you can have like dots and cracks, dots and bams, and the list goes on. Um, so this hand is actually very nice and very easy to build, but again, this hand right here, the 2023 can match either of the dragons, uh, so like dots can match and vice versa. And then you can also have white dragons as one of your dragon pairs, so don't feel like you're obligated to have red and green with the 2023. If you have four soaps, you can definitely make this hand possible. Alrighty, so then we go to the 2468 category. Last year was a wild one with this category. A lot of the hands seemed like they were kind of harder to make because of the three flower um pun that you had with the two and the eights however i feel like this section did get a little bit of help but again some of these hands just seem so far-fetched and we'll get into those hands once we get to them so our first hand we have the flowers with the two four six eight this is a standard one on every card but they changed the arrangement this year and now you have to have a single four and a single six um, if you are a newer player, don't get this confused. Basically, they just put these together into the spacing them apart. I don't know why they did it, um, but basically these are just like tiles apart from each other. So if you have a single four, you can definitely call the Maj. Um, if you get a six crack, discard or you know a six crack if you're playing cracks and discarded. Um, but these are not like a pair; they're just single tiles. But they put them together to signal them apart from uh, the others. And then um, this hand is going to be a lot harder to make because there isn't a pun. So basically, you're going to have to start off with at least one uh, triple pair or triple of one of the two numbers or flowers. Or you're going to have to at least have two jokers because um, with this combination, you can easily switch down here if you don't have a lot of flowers. But again, be wary of um, these numbers being and fours because those are the hardest ones to get a hold of if they go out really early on so then for a second hand we have the i think this was on last year's where you have the two two four six eight eight and then uh basically any of the like uh even numbers um so basically these can be two four sixes or eights doesn't matter as long as they match uh in two different suits and then this is the one suit or the third one and then for our third hand, we have the 2468 or 2468 in two suits. Um, I am a fan of this one, though, because you can easily interchange from the thir first to third. That was the issue last year with the 2468 category was it was really hard to interchange because of the pairs. And without the pairs, I feel like it allows you to switch more between these two. So keep in mind the first and the third hand are really good for interchanging. Okay. So then we have our fourth hand, which we have the 2-2, 4-4-4, 4-4, 6-6-6, 8-8. Um, that was a mouthful. However, um, the three suits are interchangeable, so make sure that you know you can 
the colors. A lot of people get the colors confused because they look at colors with suits because you match the dragons. They just do that to kind of interchange them on the card. Um, however, this is a 30-point hand, so and it's not concealed. So you are able to basically get an edge in the tournament um, if you play a 30-point hand versus a 25. So keep this hand in mind as it is a pretty expensive one. This one is also an expensive one, and I think it's because you have a lot of pairs and singles, and usually they like to make those hands a little extra just because they're a little harder to make. But again, don't feel like a 30-point hand is harder to make than a 25 because depending on what you're dealt and throughout the Charleston, they may be easier to make than these hands that are worth 25. And then for our fifth hand, we have a 2-8 with dragons. So they essentially changed the dragons, or the flowers from dragons. They added on an additional 1 and 2, and then they took off a number. So this is basically the 2 and the 8 with the flower hand from last year. But they changed the flowers to dragons, and they added on an additional 2 here without and took away from the numbers. This hand has to be 2 and 8, though. So make sure that you are not confusing it with this hand up here that can have any, like, even numbers. Uh, so this one I feel like is going to be a lot harder to play. Um, and it only being a 25-point hand um, is not something that I like. Um, so yeah. And then the sixth hand, this is our concealed hand, or closed hand. And it's 2468 Dragon Flower. This is kind of a trend this year where they have the dragons and flowers as the concealed um, throughout this category and at the 3, 6, and 9, I believe. Um, and also for the consecutive, oh, I'm sorry, the consecutive run category is the one with the dragons and flowers. But this hand is actually pretty easy to make if you look at it because it's similar to the last year's where you had the pair and the pair with these on the ends. But again, this hand is going to be a tough one to build because getting a hold of dragons and flowers with two pairs is going to be a very difficult hand. Okay, so then we have our any like number category. This is a smaller one than last year. I think one hand less. However, um, it's just your simple uh, four flowers and then you have two cons of like numbers and then you have a pair. So not too hard to make there. Um, and then we have the second hand, which this one is a concealed hand, so keep this in mind. But this one is very interesting because you have basically three like numbers with a single dragon matching. I believe on the last year's card, you had to have the pairs of the dragons. Now, with the singles, that makes them a lot easier to make as well uh, makes every dragon discard into the later game if someone is playing this hand really really scary so make sure if someone is playing this hand at your table that you get rid of those dragons before you get rid of the numbers um and then of course the dragons have to match the pairs or the the puns of course and then we have the addition hands everyone was so happy to see the addition hands were back however when they opened the card they saw that there was not the or um <laughs> So basically, back in the day, the addition hands had either one suit of numbers or three suits of numbers. This year, though, they only have the one, which I don't know as to why they did that. Um, and these addition hands are very interesting. If you look in the category here, we have a 2, 4, 6, 8, and then we have increasing in numbers. But these are only the lower four for the first eight numbers, I would say. Um, so if you're playing a consecutive run hand that or consists of one through four, this might be a really easy switch to go to an addition hand. Um, and then of course they have to be played the way they're seen, but of course the three suits are interchangeable, but they have to be three suits, which is a little bit unfortunate. Alrighty. So then we'll go into the quint section here. Um, this section is not... A lot of people usually look at this as a joker section. Uh, last year we had the 2468 hand, which only required one joker with the 8. Um, and then this year they actually swapped it out uh, for this hand, which we'll get into after we go over the first one. So the first hand we have the new uh, any wind uh, with any like numbers corresponding quints. Um, and of course the wind can be north, south, east, or west, uh, which is 
pretty standard, I would say, for this hand. Um, and now this hand is really interesting. Um, so if you look into this one, a lot of people are going to get caught off with this hand because you see two, three, four, five, and you think, oh, it's any consecutive or any consecutive numbers uh, of four. However, on the card, they put any one suit in these numbers only. This is the part that killed me on the inside because why two, three, four, five? and no ones, I have no clue. Now, if this was on the 2021 hand, this would have been a great, or 2011, I would say, would be great because you don't have the ones. However, I don't understand this, but we only need one joker for this hand. So if those ones go out on the pairs for the one, two, three, four, five, this could be a really easy switch. So keep this hand in mind if you're playing consecutive run because 2, 3, 4, and 5 are pretty easy to get. Um, and again, you have your lower 3 here for the addition hand, so uh, be wary of those. But again, one joker only needed for this, so... But these numbers only kind of makes... A lot of people are going to get caught off guard with this one, so be careful. Okay, and then the third hand, we have flowers with one and two, any two consecutive numbers, two suits, pretty self-explanatory there. Um, I believe we have one less hand in the quaint category this year uh, than we did last year because of the any like number hand, or uh, addition hands, I'm sorry, um, which is a little unfortunate, but again, I feel like all of these are pretty standard to build, and usually there's always one hand in the quince where no one ever plays it because it's just really complicated. So I feel like they did a really good job in this section this year, so definitely a fan. Alrighty, so then we get to the consecutive run category, which is basically, for a lot of newer players, the best place to start. Um, so our first hand this year, our one and fives are going to be our pairs, and then five and nine. This is similar, I believe, to a couple years ago. And then also the threes in the first hand may be hard to make with three being the popular tile around the card. Um, threes are definitely going to be a great tile to keep a hold of this year. I'm going to mention that a bunch this year. Um, but if you just look around the whole card, three is a very good tile to have. So if you do start out with a three and some lower numbers, you have a lot of potential throughout the card. Um, and then our second hand, this is a good one that um, got added. I don't know if they had this one uh, last year where they had base. I think they did where it had three suits, but now we're down to two. So basically you're one, two, three, four. Um, or one, two, three, four is any run of four numbers. So similar to that top hand, um, which again in the quint section where you might have a uh, two, three, four, five, but again, these all have to be in uh, one or two different suits. Uh, so be careful uh, with that one because I think last year you had three suits in one, two, three, four of the consecutive uh, numbers. And then we go down to our third hand, which is uh, basically that dragon flower hand from last year. However, they took off a flower and added on an additional dragon, I believe. Oh, they took off the, um, what was it? They took off nothing, right? This is the same one from last year, right? No, it's different. They took off a, a flower and a flower for another number and a dragon. So be careful with this one though because four dragons is a lot harder to get than one may think um, but again they all they can match the numbers so uh, be careful and then our fourth hand we're gonna have one two three four five um, this is kind of similar to this hand up here however you do have three suits here uh, you have your single pair pun and then the two numbers but it can be any run of five numbers so you could easily build this one if you have some middle tiles in your hand that don't really match up with the consecutive run hands around here. Uh, and then it is a 30 point hand obviously because it has some singles and pairs in it so this is a breaking hand if you do need that extra score uh, in a tournament. And then uh, this is the hand that is on every card usually you just have your pair of flowers with three numbers if um, of any consecutive run. Um, and then obviously three suits here. So this is a returning one. Nothing too special about this one. Um, and then for the one after it, though, this is an interesting one here. Because you just have one, two, one, two, which it's two suits and basically any consecutive run. 
Um, I feel like this one is going to be a really overlooked hand, but if you look at the simplicity of how easy this is to build, um, this is definitely going to be the most popular hand, in my opinion, because getting two numbers in two different suits that are really close by could be a little difficult, but if you have a really good start on it, it could be very easy to make. But again, keep away from the lower three numbers, because one and two will be probably easier to obtain than two and three. And then for our seventh hand, we're going to have basically a one, two, three, three flower. This is kind of similar to this hand up here where we have basically the one, two, three, four, five. However, the last two numbers have to be the same number. And then these guys are basically the pairs. So you could kind of interchange between the seventh and the fourth hand. Uh, but again, it just really depends on what you call out first. And then our eighth hand down, this is our concealed one. Again, this matches kind of the same pattern of the 2468 where you have a run of four numbers, your flowers, and dragons. Now, the eighth hand and the third hand, if you do observe it, are very similar. However, if you do end up getting a run of four numbers, you can have a lot of movability with every hand on this section. So this section is going to be a very, very good... Um, area if you like to switch hands middle of the game um, and it's a very safe choice to make a start because if something goes out you can easily switch to another hand and again throughout the year I'll make sure to go into more detail about that and um, this is going to be a great section very very good uh, a good good section okay so now we get to the hard section of the card um, so 13579 has always been um, a really, really good section. There's been a couple of hands on there. You know, we've had the multiplication ones that a lot of people were not a huge fan of. Um, and then there was just those hands that, you know, you played once and you never looked at them again because, you know, they were just oddballs. But this section, I feel like this year is going to have a lot of thinking and people are definitely going to have to practice this one because when it comes to switching hands in this section, it is very, very hard. And one exposure could ruin the whole switch. And again, we'll show more of that later on when we get in, in, into the hand switching. But our first hand is basically the same as every year. You have your pair of ones, uh, your pun of threes, your con of fives your pun of sevens and your pair of nines, and then you have the one or three suit option. And then if you do the three suit option, the fives are your, the one suits your cons, the other suit is the pair and the pun, and then the last suit is the other pair and pun. And then the second hand, this is a returning one. You have one, three, three, five, or five, seven, seven, nine, and two suits. Um, they took off the 7 uh, from last year and added a 7 here, so basically now it's kind of more similar where you just have pun, con, pun, con. Um, and then the third hand is basically just flowers 1 through 5 or flower 5, 7, 9. Again, very straightforward. Um, that's another thing with this section is it looks very easy because everything's really straightforward with how they want it. They don't have like 3, 5, 7, 9... Um, and all that kind of weird stuff. Um, but again, when you get more into the switching part, that's where you're going to struggle a lot. Um, and then we have Flowers 135 Dragon or Flower 579 Dragon. Uh, this is any one suit with matching dragons for either hand, but you have the uppers and lowers of the 135 or the odd tiles, as we call them. Um, so this hand is basically really easy to make. Um, the only issue with it is the pairs in the middle. If you don't have the pairs in the middle established before the outsides, it, these tiles like the 5915 don't really go with anything. So really make sure to focus on your middle pair before building the outsides. And then for the fifth hand, we have 1-3, three, Dragon, 3-5. Three, These are obviously three suit hands. Dragons are opposites to the numbers. This one I feel like will be a lot more popular than these ones because getting three suits with an opposite dragon is a lot easier than building um, the same suit. And of course, these pair of flowers are everywhere on this card, which you got to have them off the start if you really want to play the hands, which uh, that's why I love the pun of flower hands. It was you could at least call a flower uh, with a joker to kind of get your hand going. But 
Okay, and then we have 1-3, Dragon, 3-5. So, basically, this is where we're going to start getting into the complexity of this, like, section. As you'll see here, you have your uh, pair, pun, dragon, pair, uh, pun, pair. And then, for this hand, you have the four flowers, the 1-3-5-5, five, five, flower, 5-7-9-9. Nine, nine. And then, obviously, the nines have to match in two opposite suits. Um, so you kind of look at this hand right here, the fourth hand, and it kind of relates to the fifth where you add two dragons by taking two flowers off. But if you look at this here, the pair goes into a pun, but the con goes into a pair. So, and then of course you would have to add on an additional two suits at the end. However, if you were to play this hand and you expose the three... Uh, in one suit, but you end up picking up like fives in the same suit, you can't switch. So I feel like with these hands, your exposures are really going to matter because these hands are very similar. I mean, if you look at this one to this, they all kind of match up somewhere, but with one exposure could ruin the whole section or the whole switchability for you. So really be careful when you're playing the odds. Um, and then seventh hand, you have four uh, ones, you have three, five, seven, nine. So basically your three, five, seven in the middle are all going to be pairs. And then your op your ends, which are the one and nine, are going to be basically the same. Um, last year, they basically had three, five, seven in the middle as singles. And then one and nine with three flowers on the front. They basically swapped the flowers for the pairs in between. So I don't really know how to feel about that. Because uh, I feel like building pairs of numbers is a lot harder than getting a pun of flowers. But again, this hand, not so much a fan of. And then our concealed hand this year, or the closed one, is 135579. Uh, so basically they took out the flowers in the front and they added on uh, two ones, took off a three, um, and then they added on here. So... This hand I feel like will be a lot easier because I know a lot of players when they wanted to play that concealed hand on the bottom uh, either struggled getting the pair of threes um, or the flowers. But I feel like ones and fives this year um, are not going to be harder to get. So this hand is definitely going to be a popular one. So be on the lookout for that one. And then we get to the Winds and Dragons section, and there's a bunch to unpack with this section. A lot of oars um, and a lot of hands to make. But basically, don't be, you know, wary. Uh, basically, the first hand is just a bunch of pun and cons of winds, um, and it gives you some flexibility off the start. If you just want to play a straight wind hand with no numbers, um, you can easily swap based on which wind goes out or what you have in your hand, which I like. Um, so, and again, it's going to require a lot of pairs after, after the Charleston as it has no pairs. If you play this hand, you have to have at least two or three wins paired up before the start because you're going to need a lot of jokers to get up to the fours. Um, cause there's, what is it? Three, is it, oh, I guess you have two, uh, cons and then three puns. So definitely going to need some pairs and at least one joker if you decide to play this hand or a lot of wins <laughs> um, if someone is grateful uh, to pass you three wins and then on our second hand we have north south one two three or east west one two three i believe on the last year's card um it was similar, but again, this is a pair pair con, so be on the lookout for that. I know a lot of people will maybe go pair pair pun, because I believe with the flower dragon hand, that's how it was on the last year's card. Um, but this is a con now, so be on the lookout for that. But again, getting a pun of wins, a lot easier than getting a con, so I will definitely take this change. We have a north-south dragon or east-west dragon. Um, again, this is a good one because now you have winds combining with dragons. So, again, great to see this hand back. I know a lot of people uh, miss this one, so it's great to see it back. And then we have uh, basically our 2023 north-south or east-west hand. Uh, this one is basically the same every year that they have it. So, again, great, good change there. Um, and then we have news with flowers. Uh, this is a really interesting one because I think South last year was basically the pair on like two hands. So if the Souths went out early, you were kind of just dead in the water. Uh, but this, a lot of hands on this section this year have a lot of puns. So you're not dead <laughs> if a pair goes out. So really this section I feel like is going to have a lot more play this year than last year. So 
Uh, but again, getting a single north is pretty easy. Two east, uh, that could be interesting. Again, I don't like the single and pair, but this hand looks pretty cool. So nonetheless, um, and then we have news with two dragons. So again, you get some good flexibility from the third to the sixth hand here. You just kind of have to build your pairs. And then again, there's that east west pairing. Again, these are single tiles. Uh, they're not paired together. So they just do that to separate them from the, the pairs. And then our concealed hand this year for the new section is basically uh, just the wins with uh, one and two. So you can kind of switch from the sixth hand to the seventh hand if you pick up numbers as opposed to dragons. Uh, so keep that in mind because the norths are basically you add another north and you add another south and then you just have numbers. So this hand and this hand are pretty switchable. You just have to make sure with those dragons. So if you do play this hand... Uh, that you start out with at least two of the dragons um, because you can play soaps or reds or greens, but getting four of dragons when there's only four out there could be pretty difficult. Alrighty, and then the three, six, nine category. Um, this one is always a fe uh, like a toss up because a lot of people either love this section or they just don't like it. Um, this year, though, I feel like there's some good hands on it, so definitely would take a look at it. So we have 3669. This is a pretty simple one. Usually every year has it. Um, pretty good flexibility there with those. Um, again, with like the 5779, um, they added a uh, an extra tile here by taking an extra one off of here. It makes it easier to understand for people because uh, you go from pun con, pun con. It used to be pun, pun, con, con, um, which is a recurring theme this year with this. So I like that. And then your second hand, you're going to have flowers with 369, either one suit or three suits. Um, I feel like the pairs, a sixes, again, building on those pairs before moving outside is going to be a big theme this year. Um, but this could really mess you up because there's no switchability with this hand with any of the other ones. So, again, if you do want to play this second hand, make sure to have that pair before you start building on the edges. Um because there's no flexibility with this hand with any of the others. And then we have 36369. Three, um this kind of like that 24468 four, hand. I kind of look at it like that. Um but again, build on your lower pairs before building on the uppers because it's easier to switch um to another hand if you build on the pairs first. And then we have the fourth hand which is our 369 opposite dragon hand. Um this one should be pretty good. Um, I think this is going to definitely be a favorite. However, um, be wary of the pairs again because th this is pretty flexible. Like the Flowers and Dragons has a lot of flexibility. But if you build on these pairs, there's good room for flexibility but if these go out you're not in the you're not dead in the water because having flowers and dragons allows you to move around i remember last year i think it was with the flowers and dragons there wasn't a lot of flexibility because not a lot of hands ever included flowers and dragons um just as a standalone but on this year's card we do have a lot of flexibility and then we have our fifth hand which is three six nine and then basically a con of any odd number i believe um i should have put that on there yep so basically this con is any odd numbers and then you basically have your single pair pun of um three six nine but these can be any odd numbers so again this hand is going to be a good one as well pretty easy to make um but it has to be a three six or nine i'm sorry not any odd number but it has to be a three six or nine and then this one's an interesting one. So you have basically your outside edges of three and nine being the same suit, but your six and dragon have to be the same suit, um, which I guess is not a bad thing, but it will create a lot of confusion at the table because it's going to be a hard read with just the dragon exposed and maybe like a nine. Um, people will easily know uh, where to go from as the year goes on, but this hand will cause a lot of confusion with exposures, and definitely if you like to play hands where your exposures do not lead uh, to people saying, okay, you're playing this hand early on, this six hand down under 369 um, has a lot of flexibility because if you expose three dragons um, with, let's say, the threes, there's a lot of hands that it could be. 
Um, so this hand definitely will throw a lot of people off guard, so be careful with this one. Because I don't think any exposure besides it having... Even if you have 6 in Dragon, I don't think... Um, I'm trying to think on this card. I feel like that gives it away. But um, if they have like another number, like a 9 in a Dragon, I feel like they could easily be playing a different hand. So... Um, and then we have our closed hand, which is 369, 369. They got rid of the flowers, and they basically added on the numbers here. And then you have your single six. Um, I like these hands because uh, when you have the single tile, you can basically call um, at the end for just a single tile if you were not lucky enough to get it in the beginning or pick it up. So definitely a big fan of this one. Okay, and then we have our singles and pairs section. Um, last year's was a lot of flowers in in the hands. This year they got rid of some of those, which I'm a big fan of. So we have the one one three five seven nine nine. This one is very easy to make, and honestly, I I could see myself playing this a bunch because um, when you look at the one three five seven nine first hand uh, down in that odd category, the ones and the nines are the pairs with the three five seven in the middle being all sorts of pun con pun. And if you don't start out with jokers and you just have the simples three five seven, you could easily play this hand. And then picking up the one and the nine though of two suits, this that's the only difficult part. But this hand definitely has a lot of flexibility with that first hand. So be on the lookout for that. And then we have our flower, one, two, one, two, one, two. Any three suits of two consecutive numbers. That one is pretty self-explanatory. And then our three, six, nine dragon. This one as well, I really enjoy because I feel like getting three, six, nine in two different suits is pretty easy. And then getting a single dragon is also going to be simple. So definitely am a big fan of this third hand. Probably my favorite one on the card. And then we have 2468, 2468 with two flowers. Again, another easy one to make. Um, a lot of easy ones to make in these singles and pairs. Um, and you have a lot of room to switch to them in the mid to late game because a lot of them have just a single tile in them. Um, so if you get the outside pairs built, you can easily go into the singles and call those in the end game. And then we have our 1 through 7. This is a returning hand. Shouldn't shock anyone. It's just any 7 consecutive numbers. Um, it is kind of hard to build this. And I feel like with the 3 uh, being in this hand as it needs to be, uh, no matter how you know what number is at the start, 3 always has to be in there. So this hand is probably going to be a lot harder to make than last year. Um, and then we have the 6th hand down, which is our 2023 uh, flower hand. Again, this hand looks easier than last year, but again, you're really going to have to get those twos really early on if you want to build this one. So, Okay, so we're going to go into some important notes. These are basically what I call hand switching, but this is kind of what I first observed when I looked at the card. Um, and again, I'm not going to go into great detail about it because I'm newer to this card as well. Um, but again, as a newer player, um, these are just kind of some things that you can mark or just make a note to yourself about because I feel like a lot of people, when they see a hand and they go for a hand um, and that hand goes out, they kind of feel like they're trapped. Um, so these are going to be kind of some mental notes you can make to just kind of connect some hands on the card together. So the first and second hand in the 2023 year hand category can easily be switched to the third and sixth consecutive run hand. So if you look at these two hands under 2023, you have basically a lot of tiles that match these. The dragons can easily be white dragons. So these uh, numbers right here, like this two and three, uh, could go into, um, or I'm sorry, the um, yeah, the two and the three the end here because these all basically go into here you're just missing out these are basically going to be your flowers so this the first and third hand very flexible um and again just remember these zeros are white dragons so if you see dragon anywhere you can easily switch zeros to dragons um and obviously it would be the soap for that hand but and then your second hand has basically uh some uh, like numbers here for uppers so you have basically your twos your threes and twos and threes so you kind of can go here but again I feel like the first hand is more flexibility but it is here for the second hand to the sixth hand as well so 
Uh, not as easy, but again, it's there. And then we also have the fourth hand under 2023, uh, which can be go or change into the Winds and Dragons seventh hand down. So if you look here, we do have the new start. So obviously you would have to call on that, but you do have the two, three. Uh, which is there with the two and the three. So again, you would just kind of have to sacrifice the dragons and this two to add into the winds. But again, that is there for that. And then um, we have the number three. So this is for the any like number category, or I guess the addition hand. So when you're basically going for uh, the any like number category, make sure that you can switch to the addition hand if you have lower four. So for like any of the any like number hands, if you play the lower four tiles, you can easily switch to uh, the addition hands. So for example, if we are doing one, 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 we could easily go to one plus one equals two. If we had two, 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 we could easily go to two, two, and then obviously these would have to be four. So uh, these are like gonna be your tiles that these two and the two flowers, um, which I have right here. So basically you're switching your pair of your numbers and then two of the flowers for the number that corresponds at the end of the addition hand. Um, but with these any like numbers, if you play the lower four, you have a very easy switch to that addition hand. So be on the lookout for that. I feel like this is actually the most important tip of the of this video is that the any like number hand plays really well into the addition hand with the lower four tiles. Alrighty, and then we have our quint section. So we have basically that top quint hand, um, and you can easily switch this to an any like number hand, um, which basically considers the two, three, uh, well, I guess this hand has a lot of good flexibility with a bunch of things, um, but Again, yeah, just be on the lookout for this one because um, any like numbers, you can easily go to that first one with the one in the ones. You would just have to build on flowers as opposed to winds. And then uh, you have your second hand, which is the two, three, four, five, and the third hand, which is flowers one and two. These can easily be switched into the one, two, three, four second hand down under consecutive run for this hand. And then this one looks very similar to this hand. However, you just need that extra number on the end there to basically crap that hand from the third to the fifth. Um, but the second hand definitely plays really well into the second hand under the consecutive run. So, all right. And then we have our one, three, five, seven, nine. Again, this one has a bunch of things on it. So again, please follow through with me. <laughs> it's really confusing, but, um, under one, three, five, seven, nine, the second and third hand have very big similarities. If you look at the ones and the threes, um, you kind of have some similarities there. Um, it's more when you get into the upper tiles, you kind of have the five, the five, the seven, the seven, you're kind of just banking off of one odd number. But again, that does create some flexibility because if you end up going for one of these and you end up picking up the opposite tile of the, on the end, you have a very easy switch. You just have to build up on the pair of flowers, which is a little difficult, but again, a lot easier to make if you have a single one off the start. And then you have your fifth and sixth hand, uh, which have similarities. But again, like I mentioned, exposures could definitely ruin your switch, um, which you see here. You kind of have your pairs, and then you obviously lose a three. But then you have that three, five, the fives there, the three and the dragons go into the flowers. Uh, but again, if you look at these hands, they're... They are similar, but again, one exposure could easily ruin it from being switched. So, But keep an eye on this one because uh, these hands definitely have a lot of similarities to them. And then um, tonight we're going to be going live from when this video has been uh, made to basically do some mock hands. Um, last year I did some mock hands basically during uh, the card content, but I feel like... Um, you know, when you first learn a new card, that's kind of where you just start playing on your own and you start learning some things. And I am not too good yet with this card. Um, so I feel like doing those in the live streams will allow me to have more 
uh, in-depth knowledge on the card, and obviously I'll have more practice by that live stream time uh, to do that from when this video will be going live. Um, as it's been made in advance. So again, uh, we have our next live stream dates on the fourth and th uh, or on the fifth and sixth of April, uh, which is that Wednesday and Thursday. And then we have a tournament coming up, which will be live streamed on Mahjong time on May 13th. So again, if you are that competitive aspect player that likes to see a lot of the new card being played, um, that will be in your best interest to attend. So again, uh, these live streams are obviously reposted and you can go through them at any time um, and just hear my thought process of how tiles are going around, seeing what we're switching to. Um, and that's going to be your more in-depth analysis. But again, feel free to post in the comments how you guys feel about this new card. I feel like it's a lot better than the 2022 card. Um, but again, you are going to run into some uh, learning curve issues as you do with every year. So again, just power through those uh, and make some mental notes. And hopefully everyone enjoys the addition hands. Um, and we'll see you all on the next live stream. Have a good one.